today's project really epitomizes the whole concept behind Slightly Altered. I'm going to take these decorative elements and transform them into my best friend's dream chandelier for her bedroom. One of my best friends from college asked me to help her find a chandelier for her bedroom. She was looking for this tollware, Italian, French kind of country chandelier that was floral and feminine, but she wanted it with a modern twist. I can't find anything that would fit what she wanted out of the chandelier, so I've decided to make it myself. While I was out shopping one day, I stumbled across these decorative vases and containers which were on clearance for like 80% off. So I got them for dirt cheap dollars, literally dollars each. And I thought that they had the perfect bones and components to make the chandelier of her dreams. I'm deconstructing these decorative elements, the tops to the canisters and the vase bases so I can get all the pieces I need to make the chandelier. When I start a big project like this chandelier that has a lot of little pieces, what I like to do is lay everything out in the store and then actually assemble it. So that way I know when I get home, I have all the pieces I need and I'm not missing a nut, a bolt, or a screw, or some little piece. What I realized was the top to this little decorative container is very similar to the decorative piece on the arm of the chandelier. So what I'm going to do is return these pieces and use the lid from the containers in its place. I like the scale of this better with the size of the chandelier, so it's a win-win, y'all. I've assembled the chandelier and added all of my decorative elements. Now it's time to come back and solder them on permanently. I also have these 10 leaves that I found while I was out antiquing. I have them in two different styles, so I'm going to pepper them in the design to really make it feel more custom and one of a kind. Now that everything is assembled, it's time to prime and paint the chandelier. I've chosen a rich navy color to give this fixture a very clean and modern look. I mean, I really love how this navy looks on the chandelier. Last step, add the ceramic flowers and hang it in the space. Keeping the white ceramic flowers really helps retain the vintage feminine feel of this chandelier. The high gloss navy paint gave these more classic elements and updated look. When you have something so specific in your head, try and hone in on exactly what it is you love about a piece. That way, when you're shopping, you can look for those specific elements because you never know when inspiration is going to strike. Thanks for checking out Slightly Altered. If you like what you see, be sure and subscribe to my channel for all the fun and inspiration that's yet to come.